Well, hello and welcome. I'm This Old Gamer, and I'm thrilled to have you along for the ride today as we are going to take a look at five mods that you should use that you don't. What if they do use these mods? Hmm. Check out the links below if you're interested in any of these mods, and let's get this show on the road. Nitpicker by Gabe or Caleb. Okay, let's tackle the elephant in the room. Gabe or Caleb? Where's Electrix? Where is Scott? We want Scott back. I mean, what is cool hair icon too? So Netpicker, if you click on the cool hair icon by Electrix, you're going to bring up Electrix mods and Netpicker just basically allows you to click on any network. So whether it be a road, a fence, a key, whatever the case may be and duplicate it. So you can just click anywhere and then just use your upgrade tool and change the road fence, whatever the case may be, to whatever you want it to be. Since discovering Netpicker, it has saved me so much time. I don't scroll through roads endlessly. And the best part is if you screw something up, like you have a four lane road, but you meant for it to be a three lane road, it's just a really easy fix. A great mod by Gabe or Caleb or Electrix or Scott. We want that hair back. Hide it by Kilu. I just love the confidence and the pronunciation of the uh, name of this mod creator, Kilu. Correct me in the comments, please. So Hide It is a great mod for multiple reasons. For one, it, it does what it says it does. So if you take a look here, there are so many things that you can just click, get rid of if you don't like. So let's just say that the trash bins that are all over the place you just don't like seeing those all over the place, just eliminate them, hide it, exclamation point. You can do that pretty easily. And it also gets rid of a lot of other mods that you might need. So for example, the no seagulls mod, you don't need it anymore because you have hide it. You can just hide the seagulls. And there's lots and lots of different options as you can see. So I just hid the interstate sign here. That's just a blank sign that I don't want. Uh, let's say that you want to get rid of the road arrows. Just click on it, they're gone. Just like that. Lots and lots of options. And like I said, it takes care of having a lot of random mods just to do one thing here and one thing there. If you don't like air conditioning units, boy I do, it's hot outside right now, but let's say you want to get rid of those, you can get rid of those. Let's say that you don't like uh, da, 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 da. the time panel on the bottom left corner. Maybe that's a bad example. You don't want the cinematic button. You don't want the advisor button. Just lots of things that can be edited and taken off in the user interface on the game. Oh, all these vanilla billboards that are so annoying. You can eliminate them. You can customize a whole lot of things in the game. If you download Hide It today. Procedural Objects by Simon Rear. Okay, so I know what you're saying. Procedure Objects, really? Do I really need Procedure Objects? Yes, yes, you do need Procedure Objects and here's why. It is just, it's a game-changing mod. In the same way that Move It is a game-changing mod. Once you discover it and get the hang of it, it is just crucial for building cities, especially if you like the detail. And there's so much you can do. It's just too much for me to cover, so I'll have this quick scroll through. But most of all, I want you to know, procedure objects is not hard to use. Don't be intimidated by this mod. Check it out for yourself. I guarantee you, you're going to love it. Ploppable Asphalt Plus by Ronix69. What is wrong with you? This is a family show. All right, guys. I hate these little things that happen when you put down a pathway right next to a building. You get these very strange jagged edges and they're very jinky janky. 
or whatever Biffa says. And these are great to use for that. So that's the main reason I use probable asphalt is to cover up these strange sidewalks. But also you can cover up things on the roads. You can cover up dirt, grass, different things. You can raise them, you can lower them. They are absolutely fantastic and they're editable. So if your theme does not match, you can always change the colors of them. So let's get rid of these crosswalks. We'll just throw in a few sunken, poppable asphalt squares and boom, just like that, seconds, your crosswalk is gone. Now, of course, you can use hide it to get rid of crosswalks as well, as we've discovered, but this is a easy way to just get rid of particular crosswalks or cover up something that's just kind of ugly looking. Also, the game recognizes poppable asphalt as a surface, not a decal. So the good thing about that is you can put decals on top of it and they don't cling and clash and come up with any sort of weird glitches. So they work in multiple situations in multiple areas. And uh, that's about it. A very simple mod that's easy to use, customizable, works well, put decals on top of it, move them wherever you want, sink them, raise them, whatever the case may be. And they're all Byronic 69. Sun Chefs by Bloody Penguin. All right, so I see a lot of comments about screenshots and people ask, how do you make these great screenshots? Not to me, of course, but they ask that in general on message boards. One thing that I think people miss with the screenshots are sun shafts. So this mod allows you to really emphasize the sun shafts that are coming from the sky. So you can just see how much they put detail on these different scenes and they work great in lots of different circumstances. An easy mod to use and make sure you get something like Ultimate Eye Candy or Daylight Classics to kind of go along with this mod. It'll help you out tremendously in moving the sun around or whatever you need to do to make these sun shafts look even better. Well, that about does it for this episode of five mods you should use, but you don't. But I hope that after watching this episode, you'll try out these mods if you haven't already. I thank you for watching today. Hit that like button, subscribe to my channel for more content. We will see you next time. I'm this old gamer. Bye bye.